Okay, so back on automated fixtures. So we recorded our queue. Uh, shoot, what's I think about? There we are. There's our queue. And this, if I remember, if I hit open, hold down the open button and select the queue, you can see what's inside there. There's literally everything we had inside the programmer. And you can even go in here and change things if you want. Um, for some reason, my techno beams are at 99%. What if I go through 1 through 18, like on regular programming? Whoops. Undo. That's where that's nice to have that undo button. Uh, hit that backspace. There we go. Oh, okay. Undo works as well if you don't like it. Uh, 11 through. Uh, see, that's why I really like it. I'm fat fingers. 11 through 18. And I selected those. I can just simply hit the intensity button like I've been showing you. And then turn the jog wheel up to 100% and changed it. I can close this out and hit update. And voila, it's in there at 100%. And you can even look at the output, see what's going on. Um, the, you know, there's a front light and everything. Exterior colors are blanked out. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the basic concept. Now, this is what I can do is that I can uh, remember I can knock out certain fixtures I was telling you about. You can knock out certain features, which is really <laughs> helpful sometimes because you do sometimes you record something and you kind of go, oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. Sometimes tracking gets in your way and you realize, oh, that's right, that's from that queue and I just want to knock it out or I want to add it in. Um, sometimes. Uh, what else? You want to um, just straight up change it because you don't like it anymore. Um, what you can do is that you can go in here and let's say, man, I want to change that red back to uh, blue, for instance. Well, those are fixtures 1 through 10, right? So I've highlighted those in blue. And I can literally hit double tap color. And this is just like you've been doing uh, programming your colors. Slide it over to blue. And remember, this is in blind mode. So blind mode is hiding what I've been changing. So at blind mode is on. Notice I've selected blue, but I still see red. That's because I'm in blind mode. I don't see what I'm changing because if I'm in a live show, I've actually done this before. I've programmed another show while I've been doing a show. <laughs> and let's, Or if there's a change that I want need to make immediately that's live and I don't want people to see what I'm doing, I just hit blind. Uh, but I want to see what I'm doing, so I turn off blind. And it changes to blue. And then I can close all these guys, and I can hit close, and it updates it. Another way to do that is I could have simply just selected the fixtures, changed it to blue, and then hit record queue and the queue number, which is one, queue one, hit enter. That window would have popped up, say, hey, do you want to merge these? Hit merge, bam, there you go. Um, just two different ways of doing it, the same problem. Sometimes it's nice to know both because sometimes you want to see what's going on inside the queue as well. Um, just two different ways of doing it. It's a lot of blue. Um, anyway, <laughs> it's a lot of blue on that stage right now. Uh, what else uh, is there? Oh, yeah. So what's cool is that you can, uh, let's say if I want the intensity value of those side lights, those studio colors, to be controlled by something else. This is where these multiple phasers can have some, you can make them powerful. They can make them have some fun for you. Well, I want to knock it out, so I want to open it up. And we're going to, these are all selected. Now, um, these guys come in handy. You can hit intensity. So now it knows I'm talking about intensity, and I can hit uh, knockout. And as you notice, as I did that, all the 100% went out. And if I even hit, it's on blind mode, so you won't notice it, but even if I hit blind, Actually, it's not going to change it. <laughs> but <laughs> the reason why you wanted to go in here and do it to knock out it, you don't want to do 0% is because I want this value, this intensity value, to be completely controlled by another cue list, by another fader or something else. What if I want color to be on one and position to be on one, master and intensity to be on the other? Then you can, you don't want one cue list to have the values that the other have. So you want to make sure that they're completely knocked out if you have to have the intensity already in there. So now that I got them knocked out, hit close, and hit update. And you notice that my stage is completely blank. But if you look at my output, I just don't have any intensity on those guys. I have all my positions and colors and gobos and everything set, but I can't see anything because my, I'm sure if you're on the stage, you'd see you know, the fixtures pointing different directions. But you want to actually see the light. So you can go fixtures one through 
plus u will be 10. Let's try that. And we want it to map here. Now let's see, there they are. Now I, I want to record that value, uh, that intensity value in here. And I can just go record q enter. And I might, you know, change the name of it. So I hit the set button over here. Set. And it'll pop up with this quick name. I want to say um, side intense intensity. There. That way I kind of know what's going on. What if I uh, wanted to go deeper into this and I can go open up my queue list by hitting list twice. And I want to know that that's, I want to do this for the intensity on its own. So I can just hit the graphs menu and select double select four and say side intensity. So that way if I want to remove this from the, the queue list master down here, I can remove it and then another day I can just go list four move to and then select the master and it's back in there like I was showing you earlier. Anyway, enough of that. So, and what's really kind of nice to notice about it as well is that they both say side intensity. That's the queue list name and that's the queue, queue as well. But what if I want that master to just strictly control the intensity of, or the, yeah, the, um, the intensity of that fixture? Well, highest takes priority, remember? Add that highest takes priority so it always controls it. Uh, yep. And it, I was actually moving the fader up and down, and you know why it wasn't changing? It's because I still have things in the programmer. That's why you gotta remember to hit the fader button. Now, now it's right because my fader's down now. There's no intensity. But I can slide it back up, and bam, there's my intensity. But you know, I don't have those top guys, fixtures 1 through 11 through 18 are on, so I can just create another queue. 11 through 18. to save this in master nine I can go record Q enter and now I have a Q list in here and I can hit the set button and as I hit that that pops up and I can call it um, tech intense and just for to abbreviate it double tap list this pops up and I can change it to techno techno beam intensity sure you want it's easier to abbreviate it and notice that that's the Q list name and they're both named now. But I want that to be highest takes priority as well. So I take it, bam, there you go. And now release it from the programmer. So that's cleared out. And now I have complete control over these guys. So I, what's great about these is that if I'm doing a show on the fly, I can, uh, you know, you'll be surprised when the top fixtures are out and they're all on and what it can do uh, to the show. It can make it have a different feel altogether. Um, so let's get rid of that original queue list. Um, list three, uh, delete. Just type that in the command line, and you'll notice that I actually released everything. So now I have no real values except for intensity on these guys on my faders. Uh, as you notice, I'm sliding the fader up and down, and that's all it is controlling is the intensity. Now I, I can set a queue list for position, for example. Uh, let's see here. I'll pick four, and I want one through ten. I can um, change the wheels, hit position, and change the wheels to go so they can go up. Oops, wrong way. And I'll set these guys forward, down a little bit. Let's do it like this. I have some room with this. Um, I'll hit record, Q, enter. Now, I, I don't I want to show you something that's a little different uh, in the next video here since I'm on nine minutes. But I want to show you how you can, uh, I, I'm going to not hit the clear button and I'm just going to program a bunch of intensities like real quick, like that.